Our patient today has a very big bump on his nose and it was found to be a skin cancer called the squamous cell carcinoma. So we're gonna do a Mohs procedure to remove all the what cancer cells. And then after that, we'll oh, have to I'll figure out how to close it. On his nose. Um, let's not do that yet. Yeah, yeah. Maybe at the very, very yeah, end. Yeah, don't do it. At the very end, you can put your finger in his nose, but that's not polite to do that. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, so usually we do numbing injections. I couldn't find your syringe, so we're just gonna pretend. And then next, we want to take a Mohs layer. But he's already asleep. But actually, the Mohs procedure they do with the patient awake. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a layer of where we think that the skin cancer could be, and then we're gonna have it checked under the microscope. Does it go look weird? Well, it's important for us to remove the skin cancer because if we don't, then the skin cancer will just continue to grow, right? It'll grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And so we wanna make sure that we get all the skin cancer up. So then we're gonna take this piece and then we're gonna have it sectioned into slides. We're looking at our slides and we're looking to see if we got all of the skin cancer, did we? No. Nope, you think there's more skin cancer no. left? No. Okay, so then we'll go back and we'll take another layer. And here are our slides. You mean slides that we slide on? Uh, no, a little bit different. These are Do histology you? slides. You mean like this, then you slide down? <laughs> um, that's cute, but no. Did we get all the skin cancer out? Yeah. Yes, we did. So we're clear. So now that we've removed all the skin cancer, we're gonna have to work to repair this big hole that was made by taking out the skin cancer. So we made a template out of foil, and this is how we know how much of the forehead we'll need to cut. There's an, a very important blood vessel in the forehead called a supratrochlear artery, and this is a very good one that will send a lot of blood to our flap so that we can move that piece of skin to that hole there. That looks like a light bulb right there. So we're lifting up. Oh, as we're cutting, what do we see? We see a little blood vessel, so go ahead and zap it. Zap. Zap. Where'd it go? <laughs> it closed up. Okay, good. To the nose. But how do we yeah. that up? So we're gonna do that in just a few minutes. Inside the flap, there's the supratrochlear artery, which is giving blood to that piece of the skin. We're actually gonna leave this for three to four weeks before we separate or cut it. Now we still need to close in this big hole. But there's germs we're getting. Um, not just germs, but yes, you're right, um, but also the appearance of it. We're gonna let this heal in for three to four weeks. So we're gonna wrap this up and the patient goes home. And then the patient comes back. And now this is taken and this is a nice, strong, healthy piece of skin. So now we're gonna do the division. The division is where we separate that long piece or the pedicle uh, to be able to leave the piece on just the nose. Cut it in half, good. So we separate that. But where is the artery? The artery is inside of there, so this is gonna bleed a lot, but it's okay. <laughs> Not bleeding. <laughs> You're right. So he had a big hole on his nose because of the skin cancer, and we were able to close up the hole with a piece of the forehead with a nice healthy piece of skin that actually matches so that the nose looks very similar to what it did before they had the skin cancer taken out. What do you think? Do you think it looks pretty good? Yeah.